We're the Letters Home, and welcome to our home studio, uh, Andromeda Den Recordings in Pasadena, California. <laughs> in how things sound good. We're interested in how and why they sound good. How opportune is it that you can start talking to people in business um, about things that you would have never discussed because you're able to offer them um, expertise. A lot of artists like uh, Tom Petty has a home studio, Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters, uh, both really uh, huge advocates of home recording. So Mike and I are standing here uh, with a panel that we use in the Letters Home Studio, Andromeden, and it's a panel that Mike actually assembled, and we use it to reduce some of the reflections on a square room and make some of the walls irregular so that it sounds better in the space. At this point, uh, we're into this about uh, three and a half years, and we've uh, fleshed out uh, a horn section um, the rhythm section is going great. It's kind of this really cool chemistry that we just started playing like half hour jam sessions and all these songs would come out. It's a stage performance aspect where, where you're engaging the audience, but there's also structure wise to your songs where, where you're changing the structure to, to help you engage the audience more. Get something that's not a grid pattern so that your stuff sounds natural. Um, instead of like a ping pong ball bouncing around straight walls. But using our, our expertise as engineers and uh, musicians um, and also, you know, knowledge about acoustics and, and, you know, live performance, we've been able to, as, as the Letters Home, really, really reach out to a lot of people that we would have never dealt with before. So I went to Home Depot and got, got the panels, or the, the, the just, it's just straight up plywood, and I had them cut it to size there. Yeah. And that and just put these together. What's really appealing about a home studio is that you're able to write, create, and record in the comforts of your own home. Pretty much roll out of bed every day and do what you love to do. Yeah, we were kind of music geeks to begin with, but we also had this really kind of deep interest in how the mechanics of things work. And a lot of that translates to stage and what we do every day and how we record in the studio. So Joe and I are here and we're about to record a band. Um, and we're looking at a couple things and one of them is trying to make the instrument sound great. So pay attention to uh, what microphone you're using and the, the distance between uh, the sound source and the microphone. So it's been a, a, an interesting experience of seeing both sides. Um, playing and also recording yeah. and, and mixing those together. You're probably going to want to uh, bring those reflections down a little bit because it's going to sound a little too roomy. At the drop of a dime, even someone like Prince can record in any room in his house. And being able to utilize something that's so close to you and so still comfortable and creative is super important in the, in the process. Things that we do in engineering and, and audio engineering really allow us to help the other musicians in our community. We like to listen to complex stringed instruments like a guitar or like a um, piano and listen to them really intimately and closely so that we understand how they really sound and how best to capture them. As a band, we, we try and you know surprise people every night and whether it's new energy from me dancing on stage or new energy from Mike trying different drum solos or Joe taking different guitar leads. One of the challenges that uh, every artist faces is uh, finding what's unique about you. How can we make the things that we play feel more real and technically understand why that works? For something like an electric guitar, um, you're obviously going to have a louder uh, sound, more volume. Um, you're going to need a, a microphone that can handle that sort of sound pressure. It's not just hey, stand there and watch us. Um, yeah. it's, it's a whole thing. We want everybody to have fun, just like we're having fun. You can always sense as an audience member when a performer is putting on a show or is really sincere. And when they're having fun and they're sincere, that's even more interesting. And we are The Letters Home. I'm Joe. I'm Mike. I'm Andrew. 